All right, gonna do a quick video here. I bought the Eco Benzene chip off of Wish.com for five bucks. Supposed to give you 15% better fuel economy. Couldn't find any reviews I liked online, so I'm gonna make my mo my own in the most scientific way I can. And uh, I make this trip every couple of weeks to my local feed store. About ideal driving conditions. Uh, two to three traffic lights each direction, 14 miles round trip, uh, 45 to 60 miles an hour, no traffic. Um, should get great economy. What I'm gonna do, I don't have the chip installed yet, I'm gonna give you a baseline. So where we're at is we could see the odometer and then we're going to reset the average economy and we're gonna make the trip, come back, do another short video with the average economy. When I get the chip, install it, make the trip again. Hoping to have it this week, maybe next, and take it from there. All right, just got back from the store, and we did 15.3 miles to the gallon, and uh, where's that thing? Um, there's the mileage. I'll get the numbers and put them in the description. Um, few things for the repeatability of this is I had the air conditioning on because it's hot and humid out today so I have to have it on next time when I do it also I started the car from a cold condition um, making a short trip like that starting cold and starting hot if I had gone to the grocery store before that makes a tremendous difference in it also notice the fuel gauge is I'm between a quarter and a half this is a Chevy Suburban it's got a 31 gallon tank which means you're carrying around 300 pounds of fuel in the car. Between the 300 pounds of fuel and the 150 pounds of dog food and chicken feed I just picked up, it's a lot of weight, and that'll make a big difference when you're stopping and starting. This is a big, heavy truck. Anyway, 15.2 miles to the gallon, 15% increase as it's claimed, should get me about 2.25 miles to the gallon increase, which is tremendous. You're going from 15 to 17 fantastic I don't believe I'm gonna get that but I paid five bucks for this and only it's only gonna take me two and a half gallons to pay for this thing so if I get anything it's worth it if I don't it's five bucks anyway I uh, hope to have it this week and install it and I'll run the test again all right okay got the eco obd2 here back to my suburban project uh, you could read the instructions here put it in Anyway, we're going to put it in, take the car for a ride, and see if it does anything. It does say that you should drive for 150 miles um, before it takes effect, but we're just going to see what it does this time. Okay, um, got it installed. You can see the mileage on the car. Um, I do have more gas in it than last time. Coal just started up. Um, and we're going to make the same trip the same way we did last time. Going to reset the average economy because that's what we're using for our test. Right. Okay, we're back from the first test and I am shocked. Look at that, 16.5 just went to 16.4. In the original we were at 15.3 for the same trip. So that's over a mile to the gallon. Um, 78%. All right, I put some miles on the car now, and 16.3, we just did a really good highway trip. Uh, I'm gonna go do our standard run, see what we get again, and then um, I'm gonna have to run it again next week. I'll take it out because you have to be able to repeat the experiment. So if I take it out, my mileage should go back down. But this is just to re-verify what I had now that I've got the mileage it recommended on it. All right. Okay, so we're back, and mileage isn't as good as the last run, better than the first run. And there's the odometer. I did reset the, um, uh, I did reset the uh, average economy before we left. And that's it, the test is different, okay.